talk intellectual property. Are you one of those that are always busy with the tight schedules and when you're back home, you want to whip up food in minutes? Well, this next story will interest you as one Nigerian researcher has solved that puzzle. She is among 56 other researchers who have received patent rights for their ingenuity in finding ways to solve problems through amazing inventions and innovations. This intellectual property rights and training is at the instance of the National Office for Technology and Acquisition Promotion, NOTAP. Justin Bem Unyi has details on this. In fact, I have 45 different types of soup okay. in my uh, book to invent. Okay. But I just came out with 10 different types now. Okay. Navdak satisfy, Sun satisfy, and FDA satisfy. She saw a problem, got worried, sought for a solution through research work. And now, here is the result. Priscilla Ekosayato has been able to produce more than 10 different soup mix varieties that can last for seven months and can be swiftly made in five minutes. When you see some of our youth nowadays, they don't know how to cook good soup. Some of our men, when their wife travel, they will be starving. So I thought about all these ones to, to relieve people from eating jokes. Priscilla here joins 57 others with their unique research findings and innovations after being trained on intellectual property rights and writing skills for grant-winning proposals, having received patents from the National Office for Technology Acquisition Promotion, NOTAP. Nigerian researchers have been making efforts to rise to the challenge of evolving technologies that will help the nation's quest to tilt towards a research and innovation-based economy and government is encouraging them to strengthen the culture of protecting intellectual property by patenting to foster commercialization. These are the challenges the present government of President Muhammad Buhari is emphasizing on linkages between research institutions, academia, and industry with a view to commercializing research findings that are valuable and rich and could equally translate commercial activities. Linkages between research institutions, academia, and industry, which has been lacking, is intensified with the NOTAP Industry Technology Transfer Fellowship, NITTF initiative, having today handed over another thesis of a graduate fellow to the sponsoring company for possible commercialization. Yeah, the invention, you see, um, if a child is win. You understand it, uh, it needs some kind of food that has a lot of nutritive value. And this lady worked on that. And she's been able to formulate a very good winning food, which maybe Nestle may be able to commercialize it. So this is the part of partnership between researchers and the private sector. And unless research and development is commercialized, it has little or no economic value to the system. So that is what we want to change. From 2015 to 2019, 184 researchers have so far obtained patents. In Abuja, Justin Bemuni, NTA News. And joining us in the studio to discuss further on research, innovation, and intellectual property rights is Dr. Dan Azumi Ibrahim. He's a DG, National Office for Technology Acquisition Promotion, NOTAP. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Ibrahim, on the news. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Now, you gave Priscilla and 56 other researchers patent rights for finding ways to solve problems through inventions and innovations. What are your thoughts regarding these inventors and their innovations? Yeah, first of all, I would like to um, correct the impression that um, we don't issue patents, but we assist researchers to patent their technology so that they protect their intellectual assets. Um, issuance of patents is by the patent registry um, not NOTAP, but NOTAP is trying to fill a gap. We realize that most of the innovations and inventions by, done by Nigerians <coughs> are not patented. And so long as they are not protected, they may not be commercialized. Commercialization of any research and development effort is by the private sector. And no any private sector would put his or her own money where the intellectual asset is not protected. 
So we are just there to fill in the gap. It's, and it's not the only patents that has been released by Nigerians. These are patents, number of patents that have been um, have gone through NOTAB, NOTAB assistance to, 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 to innovators and inventors. Now, um, what does this uh, mean, you know, for uh, Priscilla and others like her? And what is the NOTAB doing to encourage more inventors in the country? Yeah, actually, um, this lady came out <coughs> with quite a number of formulation that have potentials to translate into multi-million naira industry. Um, <coughs> What normally happens is people go to trade fairs, expose all their secrets to the, to, to, uh, to the public. If you expose your secret to the public, it's like you are throwing away your intellectual asset. So what we, what we did was to bring them to ensure that they are well trained on how to um, go about protecting their intellectual assets. This product she has brought, she can now meet with a private sector who has money to now begin to uh, scale it up to the industrial level. You can see some of these package foods. For some of us who sometimes travel outside the country, if you are maybe in Asia, by the time you spend four or five days, you begin to lose the taste of their food. You would like to have food that is really original, Nigerian original food. So this package food can be exported outside the country. What you only need to do is to add some warm water. The, the direction is there. Now we are home in a foreign land. So, so, so actually, they begin to understand the need to protect. If she, doesn't pro if she doesn't protect it, somebody can get the formulation and begins, before you realize it, begins to manufacture these products and sending them outside the country as export. Okay. So Nigeria cannot continue to consume other people's work, other people's technology. We need to begin to export. That is when we'll make money. That is when we will be able to overcome challenges of unemployment in this country. And you mentioned um, commercialization earlier on innovations like this, but and you're also talking about Priscilla and the likes of her, you know, getting to getting the private sector involved. What is the synergy like? How can these partnerships between researchers and the private sector be built? Yes, actually, um, NOTAP came out with a program, NOTAP Industry Technology Transfer Fellowship. Um, what is this, the current scenario is the researchers are looking at one side and the industries are looking at another side. And unless they come to agree, they come to terms, our research and development efforts may not be able to be translated into product and services. So as regulators, we draw the attention of the multinationals in particular to see how they can assist in developing the capacities of Nigerians to undertake credible research that would be that can translate into product and services. This program started um, in 2016 with only five companies sponsoring five candidates. And the research and development of those candidates are based on the operations of those industries. One of the beneficiaries, um, Dr. Mrs. Esther, she's from University of Nigeria and Suka. She came out with an innovation that could help in um, overcoming some of this um, Koshoko problem when a child is weaned. And she came out with a very highly nutritive um, value food that could serve as a substitute for weaning food. So this thing has been fully protected by us and is been sponsored by Nestle. And Nestle now is trying to see how they can commercialize it. The idea is, so long as our researchers are not in talking terms, are not talking with the industry, the results of their research and development may for a long time remain on the shelf. So the strategy is to bring the two together. Now this, this, this research has been um, sponsored by Nestle. Nestle has paid for everything. And now Nestle has collected the results and looking at the okay. results to see how now they can commercialize it. That oh, is when we can make progress in this okay, country. Doctor, I think that will be all for now. Thank you so very much, Dr. Anzubi Ibrahim, DG National Office for Technology Acquisition Promotion. Doctor, we appreciate your time with us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.